All right, guys, today we are doing honestly one of my favorite recipes I've ever had out camping. And my good buddy Tony here cooked these up probably about six years ago. You've been doing them a lot longer than that. Yeah. But the first time I ever had them was six years ago in the campsite just right over there. And I was like, those are amazing. And for the last six years, I've thought about these enchiladas. I've thought about calling you and getting the recipe. And I was like, I'm just gonna wait until the next time we're camping together and you make them to watch it and film it. It's one of my favorite recipes. It is Dutch oven enchiladas. And why do you do them this way? Well, we started making them to feed 10 to 15 people when we're camping. So we tried to figure out a way to do it to feed everybody. So. We started doing it in the Dutch oven and layering them in there and it, it, it turned out great. Like I say, you can feed 10 to 15 people per Dutch oven. So walk us through the steps that we're doing, what we've done so far. So far we started off with two quarts of water and four tablespoons of red crushed peppers. And now we're going to add two cups of uh, milk with uh, four heaping teaspoons of bisquick in it to thicken up the sauce a little bit. So we've uh, cooked the crushed peppers for about 10 minutes now, simmering them, getting them good and cooked. Now we're going to put the, this will thicken it up a little bit, and then we'll put the meat in and we'll simmer it for about 10 minutes before we actually make the, put them in with the shells. You can make these enchiladas with whatever you'd like. You can put chicken in them, hamburger with sausage is great. And so we're gonna put the meat in and we're just gonna let that simmer for about another 10 to 15 minutes so it soaks up the pepper juice. I would highly recommend maybe some venison or some elk in there, but I've had them with beef and I've had them with sausage and they are amazing. And we're going sausage and hamburger, right? Yeah. This time, so. You can try it with wild game, try it, like what I always say, if you don't have any wild game, try it, try it with some meat you can buy at the store, but if you do have wild game, go that route. Okay, we've been simmering this for a good 10 minutes now. As you can see, it's thickened up a little bit, so we're gonna start to make our Dutch oven here. Kinda as a base coat here, and then we'll put four tortillas in there, and we'll just layer this up all the way to the top. So we'll just put some sauce on top of these. And then we'll put a little bit of cheese. So we'll kind of layer it, kind of like a lasagna. So here's my question to you, Tone. This is what uh, got me last time I watched you make this. So those are crisp tortillas, right? Yeah, corn. corn. Already cooked corn tortillas, like a corn tortilla chip almost but these will soften up while you cook them correct yeah so we used to that. we used to uh, buy the corn tortillas and cook them in oil and just for camping this is so much easier so you can just go to the store and buy these they're already cooked so what is the uh, reason going with crisp compared to just like a regular corn soft corn tor tortilla you have to cook them so they uh, hold their shape I guess if you just have a regular tortilla it's not cooked so really all we're gonna be doing now after this point is everything's cooked we're just gonna be warming it up yep you're just gonna it's all gonna soak together all them juices are gonna soak into those these tortillas and then when we cut this it, it, it is just amazing I think you had something to say mark I can't wait <laughs> Words of wisdom from Mark. <laughs> <laughs> so we've used our whole Dutch oven here. We're empty with the meat. We're just gonna top it off with a good layer of cheese, probably about an inch thick all the way around. And then we're just gonna simmer this for probably a half hour. And then all those shells will soak up all that moisture and it's gonna be great. Olive oil. Something about an egg on an enchilada. So, hey, you guys know how we do it on the Hush channel. These guys cooked, and uh, they're gonna feed me first, because I was running the camera, which doesn't happen too often. So Tony's gonna dish me up what, how he's done this for 40 plus years, yep, and I'm, I'm gonna consume it, and I'm okay with that. My mom's been making these since I was about eight years old. That is 40 plus years. Oh my goodness. You really so gotta good. tell everybody how old I am, don't you? Plus. That's good. 
That's plenty. That's good? Yep, right over here. Okay. So we're gonna go a little lettuce. We're gonna put a little lettuce on top of there. Tomato. You like purple onions? Oh, I like them a lot. All right, we'll throw Load some me up. purple onions on there for you. They've kind of got a sweet taste. It puts a little extra in it. It's kind of a neat little taste Kaylee to it. Kaylee likes when I eat a whole bunch of them too. <laughs> okay, now we get to do the topper. The topper. This is definitely a Hispanic thing is to throw a egg on top of an enchilada. Guys, look at this. This is what we're working with. That's a lot of food. But the, like Tony said earlier, this one Dutch oven will feed 10 to 15 people. Yeah. And that's why he does it the way he does when he's camping. It's super simple, it doesn't take a long time, and it will feed a bunch of people. But I'm gonna go dive into this in uh, one bite, everyone knows the rules, I'll tell you how it is. Like I said earlier, I tried this recipe, or Tony cooked this six years ago, and I was blown away how good it was. And I've been wanting to uh, figure this thing out for the last six years, and finally we made a video on it, so. Hopefully it's as good as I remember. Oh. It's amazing. I've eaten enchiladas at a lot of Mexican uh, restaurants in the past, and I never know what this one taste is. I think I just figured it out. It's the Bisquick. That's what, like, creates the sauce is the Bisquick. Ten, dude. Ten out of ten. It's amazing. Freaking uh, nailed it, man. I, it. I hope you like it, guys. That's as good as any restaurant I've ever been to in eight enchiladas. Which do you want? Family recipe. Want I hope you all like it. This is what's so cool to me about food is everyone has a recipe. Everyone has a story about a recipe, and it's passed down. And it's you know not only passed down to your kids or whoever, but also your friends and, and other people in your life. Like I said, this recipe was something that was intriguing into me, to me for the last six years, and I finally watched him do it and got to film it, him do it, which you guys got to see as well. But it's amazing. It's a great recipe to do while you're out camping, hunting, whatever. It's easy. And uh, it, God, you guys got to try this. This is one of my favorite recipes ever in a Dutch oven, which is my favorite way to cook food. So we're gonna dive into this, eat this, and I'll leave everything down below that you guys need to know, but you guys definitely should try this the next time you're out camping, or you can do it at home. The only thing I, re I heard was, if you do it at home, open your windows, because the crushed red peppers can overtake your house. So open a couple windows. Anyways, thanks again guys, thanks for watching. Go su subscribe if you haven't, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.